Blue 2 to Blue 1. Radar contact. Enemy aircraft straight ahead. 40 miles. Roger. Let's hide in that viewer to the left. Keep a good lookout for enemy aircraft. Blue 2, look out! Power lines! Oh no! Mayday! 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 Every too often, accidents happen involving aircraft colliding with power lines or other man-made installations. In the US alone, these kinds of accidents happen every week. The Norwegian company AUKUS, founded by two former Air Force pilots, now offer a solution to this problem. Together with the research institutions Sintef and other leading technological companies, they have developed a system that issues a warning whenever an aircraft comes close to an obstacle. Their product carries the same name as the company. Obstacle Collision Avoidance System. Short, OCAS. The idea is to install a standalone field unit that can detect whenever an aircraft is on collision course with an obstacle and issue a warning. As a first warning, a 20,000 candela flashing warning light on or next to the obstacle is lit to warn the pilot. Uh, if the aircraft do not perform an evasive maneuver and proceeds closer, a loud and clear audio signal is transmitted on the VHF radio, which is standard equipment for every aircraft. The field unit, consisting of a radar, computer, VHF transmitter and batteries, is installed on or near the obstacle. Fitted with solar cells, it is completely self-powered. Each AUKUS field unit participates actively in a system of multiple units in a network to create integrated radar images and to report status and detection data to an AUKUS control center. This improves aircraft security and reduces the need for inspection and maintenance. With no aircraft installation necessary and standalone field units, it's a cost-effective solution for genuine accident prevention and for all aircraft. Each field unit is equipped with 80 to 100 AVRs handling distributed power management, system control and supervision, configuration and control of data processing. When we started out we chose the AVR because of the very low power consumption. Obviously important to a self-powered field unit. Also it had a good match of digital and analog I.O. to fit our design. Now experience shows us that the AVRs have proved very reliable in all aspects. We have over 4 million accumulated operating hours without a single component problem. We have no reported problems from manufacturing with regard to supply, lead times, obsolescence, etc. We've had a very free design phase, allowing us to focus on the invention itself. And our subcontractors have had no problems designing in the AVRs in their subsystems. All in all, things are going very well for the guys at OCAS, who also earned the Norwegian Engineering Award 2006 for this invention. We have designed very advanced technology that can save lives. There's quite a leap from established warning systems to our system. And currently we have no competitors. No wonder they're perhaps just a little bit cautious to show us too much of the field unit's inner workings. But we had one pressing question. With up to 100 AVRs inside one unit, how do you program them all? How do you upgrade the field units? AUKUS uses a serial bus to, to interconnect all the AVRs in a control backbone for normal operation and upgrades. A serial driver resides in the boot section of the AVR. And because of the read while write flash memory, all up to 100 AVRs in the field unit can upgrade themselves while maintaining communication with the rest of the system. Ah, a bootloader. Mm -hmm. Sounds simple, doesn't it? There's no doubt that the AUKUS invention will make an impact in the aviation world and perhaps become a standard. The system is already approved by Norwegian, Canadian and US aviation authorities. According to the map, there's a windmill park here somewhere. I think it's to the right. Turn left 20 degrees. Okay. That was close. Do you know where we are now? Any other obstructions in the area? 